Hey, YouTube Brando here. So we just got this package in the mail, uh, and I kind of wanted to do a product overview on it. Because uh, if you look at the internet at it, it's got mixed reviews all over the place. Some people said that uh, they couldn't get it to light for anything, and others said that it was the best fat wood they had ever gotten. So this is Plow and Hearth uh, fat wood. This is a 10-pound box. This stuff runs between roughly we'll say two dollars and thirty cents to two dollars and fifty cents per pound so roughly twenty three twenty five dollars somewhere in there I've seen that they have the ten pound burlap sacks uh, for pretty cheap as well this is a full ten pound box right here it doesn't feel like it's full but this is their ten pound box uh, I think I paid twenty three but it took a long time to get it I ordered this Halloween it's just now coming in today is the 12th so um, but the price was fair let's put it like this this stuff we'll say it's three dollars a pound just to be conservative you know um, just to be safe if you guys go order it and you pay three dollars a pound you know you don't yell at me uh, light my fire fat wood you know comes in a little bundle like so and has a little leather piece of cordage around it holding it together that stuff's about a buck an ounce so three ounces versus sixteen ounces for the same price you know what I mean uh, so I'm expecting it to be dirty honestly and um, as long as it's at least a 60-40 blend I'd be happy but I would prefer like 80-20 Wow, it smells great right off the bat. Okay. Super fat wood. Uh, it don't look like I'm going to be able to do what I wanted with this stuff. Just show you what it comes like. Uh, I wanted to be able to make some handles out of them. And none of them look uh, large enough. So the super fat wood is 50% larger than our regular fat wood for faster burning. Uh, I may have to order some super fat wood, I guess. <laughs> Try to get some. That piece might be big enough to drill a hole in and put a ferro rod down in. But it looks like good fat wood. Nice and resiny. We'll do a... Uh, test of it we'll go ahead and in another video we'll split it down and it doesn't look real dirty I mean there's a few dirty pieces it's clean everywhere else stuff actually looks pretty good it smells great god I love the smell of fat wood um, for the price I'd say this stuff is just as good as the uh, Light My Fire Fat Wood I ordered for a buck an ounce, like I said. Yeah, I think it was like 7 or $8 for half a pound, so right around a buck an ounce. It wasn't cheap, put it like that. So I'm going to try to sort this out and get some of this bigger stuff like this out uh, so we can drill some holes in it and make some handles for some ferro rods. I'm hoping uh, I got enough in here to do a few. Um, looks like none of it's really big. It's all about that size right there. You just see the layers of resin in that. It looks nice. A little slab of resin. It looks like it's at least 80-20. I would say it's 80-20. That would. Not bad at all. Not for the price anyway. I guess we can... That's good fat wood. It's got a high resin content. I think it's good fat wood. So that's going to be it for this one. Be looking out for the test video where we're going to test this stuff out. We'll go ahead and uh, split some and look at the inside, see what it looks like, and then take some shavings and see how well it takes a uh, spark from a ferro rod and all that good stuff. Next time.